against Mr. Fly. Hey, hope you're well. Now, a few months back, uh, Principal Insurance, uh, one of my sponsors, uh, asked me if I'd mind doing a little interview with them uh, for their internal purposes. It's just like a little internal digital asset that uh, they were going to use for their own internal purposes, as I say. It was never intended to be shown on YouTube. But uh, we did the interview, and I thought it came out quite well, and I thought some of the questions that were asked might be something that you'd like to see. So if you stick around and stay tuned, I'll show you now that uh, internal interview I did with Principal Insurance. Ready when you are. Uh, Don't I'm let me put you off. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. I'm Jess, here with Principal Insurance, and I am with the Mr. and Flyer. Uh, firstly, Mr. and Flyer, what do you do? Well, I have a uh, YouTube vlog. It's, uh, it's a channel on YouTube, and it covers all sorts of things to do with uh, motorcycles. So it's uh, riding bikes on tours, it's um, doing things like product reviews, uh, and also reviews of bikes, that sort of thing. Interesting stuff. Uh, at the core, your videos are you, yep. on your bike, with a GoPro, aren't they? They are, basically, yeah. Put like that, it sounds easy. It clearly isn't, or everyone would be doing it. What do you think is it about you that appeals to bikers? Uh, good question. Um, I don't know, I think, personally, I, I think it is fairly easy to do, but obviously, as you say, some people find it hard. So I think it's one of those things that you either can do or you can't. So it's you kind of just lucky if you can, and lucky for me, I quite enjoy doing it. Uh, in terms of what appeals to other bikers, I think in the case of my channel, it's probably uh, the fact that I'm just a normal everyday biker. Yes. Um, I think it's, uh, there are an awful lot of professional channels out there with um, journalists and so on mm -hmm. doing stuff, and they're all great, they've got their place. Um, but they're not that many, I don't think, where it's just another person in his garage ticking around with his motorbikes. Um, so I think that's kind of where the appeal comes from. Definitely. Uh, are there particular topics or bikes that you've noticed grab particular attention and spark debate among, amongst your viewers? Uh, yeah, there have been a few. Uh, gosh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But um, certainly things that you never know, this is the thing with YouTube, you never know what's going to take off. And often things happen that you don't plan. So one that I guess kind of launched my channel really and got me a lot of viewers was when I got stopped by the police in London for jumping a red light, <laughs> uh, which was a genuine error in, in my part. I grovelled a lot and they let me off, so that was fine. But that got, uh, I think that's currently about probably... 300,000 views or something right. and I think I got an awful lot of subscribers from that so it's you don't necessarily know what's gonna what's gonna go well yeah. uh, that one did uh, generally though if you want a formula where you're onto a winner mm -hmm. things like bike reviews because people use YouTube to look up stuff and see you know if I want to spend a lot of money I want to look at some reviews so I do a lot of bike reviews they're always good um, and also these days there's kind of two parts I think to any YouTube channel there's kind of a community element those people that are just kind of fans of yours and then there's those the ones that are searching for things so bike reviews so I do community based stuff which might be newspaper reviews or vlogs or I'm just talking about what I'm thinking about um, and then as I say things like bike reviews are always good ones definitely um, thanks to your social media presence and trusted status you're now what the marketing world calls an influencer you're courted by the industry with big manufacturers clamoring to, uh, for you to review their latest and the likes of us at principal insurance are keen to lend to your support how do you feel about that? Well, fantastic. Um, courted and clamouring, I'm not sure I recognise those words, <laughs> but I like them. Uh, no, it's, it's very flattering um, that that's the case. I mean, I come from a completely different industry in my professional life, and uh, it's quite interesting to see how the motorcycle industry compares with other industries that I know better. Um, some manufacturers are better than others. Um, let's face it, IT and social media is the way it's all going. I think those uh, manufacturers that don't get on board with that, you know, don't do so at their own yes. peril. So, uh, yeah, so I think it's the way it's going. It's great that some of those have, uh, have come out and found me, and uh, long may it continue as far as I'm concerned. Definitely. Uh, so how did the, your relationship with Principal come about, and why is it good for you? Well, great question again. Uh, it came about entirely by accident because I was doing one of those um, vlogs that I was talking yes. about, which was a sort of an unscripted thing where I was just going off having a big whinge. I'd had, uh, <laughs> I've had no ends of bad experience with insurance companies, and this vlog, I thought, this is going to get me a few viewers. I'm going to title it something controversial. I think it was called something like Insurance It's Pants, I think it was oh called. So I had a big old whinge about insurance for all completely legitimate reasons, and it spawned an awful lot of responses, including from your marketing manager, uh, who got in contact with me at the time and said, can we put the other side of the story? Um, so I was quite keen to actually do an interview with him. Yes. He will remain nameless. Uh, he was a little bit shy about doing that. So we haven't <laughs> done that yet, but maybe one day we will. Um, so yeah, so that so we just got in contact, and then after a few months, um, contacted me again, said, could we do some work maybe for the NEC, uh, for example? And it went from there. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it's great because now I'm in this sponsorship situation, so it's fantastic. Could do that for you. Uh, what personally are you looking for when you're looking to renew your bike insurance? 
Well, I mean, number one, it's got to be good value for money, hasn't it? I mean, that's the first thing that everybody looks at. Definitely. Uh, and everybody shops around to look for that thing. And then it's the, this is one of the problems with insurance. You don't know you need it until you need it, do you? So, so you don't know if your insurance company is any good until you actually have a claim. Yes. So I guess you kind of have to get a feel for how easy is the, business, is the company to do business with. That's certainly what I look for. Um, you know, was it easy to get the quote? Were the people friendly at the call centre? Did the phone call get answered quickly? That sort of thing. Uh, and then you have to sort of take a view about how it might work in a claim situation. So for me, it's how easy was it to get the quote? And yes. then is it competitive? if it's those two things combined. Definitely. Uh, you fronted over 400 videos and yep. reached a collective audience running into millions. So, are you a celebrity? <laughs> uh, no, I'm certainly not a celebrity. Uh, no one's heard of me, unless you're a motorcycler that happens to watch YouTube. So, uh, so if you go to things like bike shows and things, then you know, I sometimes get people recognise me. And I have had a few people recognise me in the street, which is a bit embarrassing, although very nice. Um, but no, certainly I wouldn't say I was a celebrity. Okay, I think that's all from us. At principal, thank you very much, Mr. Flyer. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So there we go. Hope that was uh, of some interest to you. Uh, just while I've got you, just want to mention the London Motorcycle Show is coming up soon. Uh, a number of people have asked me whether I'm going to be going along. Uh, I am planning on going on the Friday, which is the 16th of February. So uh, if you go into the show and you see me there, do come and say hello. I'm likely to be hovering around the principal stand, which is what reminded me of it, or wandering about the show generally. It would be great to meet you if you're going along. Um, oh, don't forget as well, while on the subject of principal, we've got that great free prize draw uh, running at the moment where you can win yourself and a partner a holiday for two on Grand Canaria on motorcycles, pretty much everything paid for. Uh, that's your bike hire, it's uh, £400 to your flights from the UK, which will cover it if you do an EasyJet or Ryanair. Um, it's four star hotel accommodation for a week, uh, absolutely amazing prize. All you've got to do is uh, get yourself a quote for your next insurance from Principal Insurance. And if you uh, stick around to the end of the video, I'll put up a screen with the uh, phone numbers to use to get that quote. And you have to mention that you saw uh, this on the Missenden Flyer, that way you'll be entered for the free prize draw. That would be brilliant. Uh, so that's it, I think, for now. Uh, look forward to seeing you at the show if you're going along. Oh, and if this is the first time you've uh, been along to one of my videos, thanks very much for watching till the end. Uh, I don't just do odd little videos like this, but also do uh, bike reviews, I do trips and tours, I do how-tos, things in the garage, anything and everything to do with bikes, I try and cover it. Uh, if you hit the little subscribe button and the little bell, that'll mean that you won't miss any of my videos. It'll notify you when I put up a new video. It'll be absolutely great to have you along once again. Okay, that's it for now. Hope there's been of some interest. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Till then, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio.